Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. Aquarius. Let's do a fun fact about Aquarius. You know, Aquarius are um, extremely good technology. If you're not, well, you might be old school, but if you were to take a course, uh, you would be very, very good at passing that course. Also, Aquarius gets along with other air signs. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libras. Also, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag. Aquarius is attracted to all those signs. We go to the witch. Spirit. I'm going to do a reading for Aquarius. Let's go. Let's get her on and let's get her done. Aquarius. Let's go. Well, you might be, uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm getting some more cards. God love you, darling. Okay, so I was just saying you get along with Gemini, but yeah, you might be having a problem with it, with Gemini here, but you might be standing, you might be standing your ground a little too strong. All right? Now, the thing is here is that you, you've really got your sword up and, and well, you got your back up and I'm going to be heard, damn it, I don't care. They're going to listen, they're going to hear from me. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting her on and getting her done and I'm going to say what I darn well have to say. Here comes the past start off. Now, in case you're a new subscriber, the bastardo is a deceptive messenger. They can bring you good news and then hit you with bad news. Or they can give you bad news first and then say, what? Here, here's some happy stuff for you. Very deceptive. You never quite know what the bastardo is going to say. Well, the bastardo tells me that you're kind of working uh, possibly on your, your money or, or trying to bring yourself some sort of uh, enlightenment or pleasure. And the thing is, is that, we <laughs> hold on. Let's get some cards out here, Aquarius. My God. God love you, darling. You know, sometimes we feel like giving up. I, I've just been trying so freaking hard. And you know what? I, I'm just sick of trying and trying to keep a happy face and a, and a, and a jump in my step and... Nothing's working. All I can feel is nine frickin' hammers. Nothing's working. I, I'm just getting depressed about the whole damn thing. But you you have been very much working on something that you want, that a wish come true, or, or better money, or better job, or maybe getting that course in technology, whatever it is. I've been working hard at it, and I'm starting to feel... The effects and the effects man I'm, I'm just ready to give up don't if this sounds like you're reading don't because all this good stuff is just right around the corner the feelings of elation here of wealth and security and a wish fulfilled there's no wish fulfilled here but come on I got the king of money and I got the Ten of Pentacles. This is wish fulfilled. This is, it's right around the freaking corner. And the test is, will you give up before it gets there? Now, I know a lot of, a lot of people who have given up. And as soon as they gave up, bang, there it was. I was like, well, you gave up on it. Now it belongs to somebody else. It's right around the corner, Aquarius. The king of money and security and it could be a job that you were really really hoping for an advancement or another job or just something you were really really hoping for well you definitely can take this to the bank because with the king of money being secured like this you know this is a good thing maybe you were looking to buy that house and you weren't sure if the bank was going to approve that loan mm. come on 
Now there's someone here. Maybe. There's someone here. Unless it's you. Let's find it. Oh, there's somebody here, Aquarius. Now there's somebody could be... Yeah, well... I've got earth signs and I've, I've got... Um, water. But to somebody, could be an Aries or a Sag or maybe a Gemini, and just somebody comes with their heart on their sleeve. This is actually somebody, Aquarius, that uh, that's willing for equal give and take. What's mine is yours. Which yours is mine. Let's put it together and, and let's let's do this. So you got somebody coming with their heart on their sleeve. But you get your walls up. It doesn't matter what anybody says to you. It's what you feel. And what you feel, well, you got to go with that. What I'm saying is... Uh, it looks good whoever this is but you got your walls up now this could be someone from the past or this could be someone that's coming towards you and somebody with love and somebody who wants to do this but you got your walls up and you're rebuilding so this is what's happening is <laughs> right around the corner there's some good stuff just getting ready to enter into your life this will make you feel on top of the world with the King of Pentacles. This will make you feel safe and secure. This will make you feel I never have to worry again. But I'm rebuilding. I got my walls up because I really want nothing to do with this heart on the sleeve thing or this equal give and take thing because I'm rebuilding. So, shields up. I'm going to fight this to the very bitter end. So, if you do not give up before this comes in, and not only does this blessing come in, but somebody comes in with love. Now, this lover is someone... It could be someone from the past, but the Spirit is telling me that this is somebody, how can I word it? This is someone who has fresh love. This could be someone who lost love for you and now has fresh love. Or it could be a new lover. Let's keep going. Let's, let's see what we can do. But anyways, what I have here is you're rebuilding, your walls are up, your shields are up. I'm going to fight this. Right to the end, I, I'm I'm done with this love, and I'm rebuilding. I'm rebuilding my life on on the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm rebuilding on that security that I want. Wow. <laughs> okay. Why did you just pop in my head, darling? Hello, Tammy, darling. Big squishy hugs to you. Ten of Cups. Waiting. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, my God. Whatever you do, don't give up. It, it, it feels like it's been so hard. It's been so freaking hard. I, and I'm getting tired. I'm, I'm feeling nine hammers coming down. I'm freaking tired of trying. Don't give up. It's all right around the corner. Ten Cups freaking full. And then there's waiting. Because then comes the tickety boo card. And what is the tickety boo card? What are you truly waiting for, Aquarius? What is it that is the tickety boo card? It is self love. It is going up into the attic and clearing out all things that happened from the past. All things that you've been taught and relearning and and teaching yourself 
It is self-care and self-love. So, it appears to me that money and elation and happiness and security come, but you're still in a frame of mind. When all these blessings come, there's only one thing left to do. Wait for the self-love. And there's no doubt in my mind you're going to get that. It's going to be like all brand new. All brand new. Holy shit. And it is Gemini that's coming towards you. And I do have you walking away from this Gemini. And there's something here about this Gemini that causes you to think too much. That makes you go up in your head. But seriously, I gotta tell you what I'm seeing here is this Gemini does love you. But you're looking for more than that. You're looking for rebuilding. You're looking for a fresh start. You're, you're, well, you're looking for the Ten of Cups. You're looking for the self-love. You're looking for the healing that you need. So, I've got my wish. My dream has come true. Now I'm going to work on me. And this is what I have for you, Aquarius. So, I have very large Gemini here. I have a very large Aries. Doubled up in Aries. Um, all signs are on the board, but this is what's prominent. And before you go, let's pull an angel answer cards for you. An oracle card. These are by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Let's pull one of those for you. Aquarius. 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 Let's give him a cut. What spirit picked for you? Communicate clearly. Okay. All right. Communicate clearly. I guess tell the divine exactly what it is you want. And don't get upset. Page 27. Let's go to the little book. Let's find out what it means. The situation requires very precise and careful communication. Don't assume that others involved understand that you want or need from them. Don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need from them. In person, discussions are preferable, but if that's not possible, make sure that your communication method is very thorough. This card can indicate that there has been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge for the parties involved. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so that everyone can start moving forward again. You know, this is picking up the Gemini I'm picking up on. Gemini or Aries. Someone who wants a fresh start. Someone who wants communication. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you today. It's a nice reading. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Namaste.